Well, free speech and religious liberty are both under attack in Washington. And here is one of our wise faith leaders' uh, warnings to his congregation. And once you allow the government to start controlling speech, it's not a very long trip to the persecution of the church at all. And we need to get ready for it. It is coming. It's coming. It may in some cases be here. And joining us tonight, Pastor Robert Jeffress, who you just heard issued that warning. He runs the First Baptist Church of Dallas. He's also a Fox business contributor and a great American, uh, the pastor of uh, Dallas's First Baptist Church, Pastor Robert Jeffress. Good to have you with us. And your warning, I think, uh, was both timely uh, and absolutely correct. Uh, this is a nation right now on the precipice. And I think... Most Americans understand that, whether it's Twitter uh, banning a president, uh, a shadow banning uh, thousands of Americans, principally because of their political views, or big tech silencing mm -hmm. uh, silencing a nation uh, in, with their algorithms and with their left-wing perspective and values. It, it, these are tough times. They are, Lou, and look, we can sit around in a circle and sing kumbaya and talk about unity all we want to, but as long as the Biden administration continues to push this hard left agenda down the throats of Americans, there's not going to be any unity. I mean, we saw it this week. Biden signed an executive order that would force schools to allow a 16-year-old boy who thinks he's a girl to share the locker room, the bathroom, the shower with your 13-year-old daughter. That's insanity, but that's what the Biden administration is up to, and they are going to absolutely try to silence anybody who doesn't go along with that agenda. If you don't believe that, just ask the little sisters of the poor. People forget before Donald Trump came into office that Joe Biden and Barack Obama were suing these poor Catholic nuns. Trump put a stop to it, but now that he's gone, expect that kind of persecution to resume and intensify. Well, we're, you know, the, uh, you, you referred to a, a, a kumbaya circle. Uh, the fact <laughs> is that there is supposed to be something of a honeymoon uh, with every president who steps in. Some use those uh, honeymoons up faster than others. Uh, but the <laughs> fact is, this is a, a president who means to reverse uh, everything that Donald Trump did uh, in, in terms of both policy and, and direction of the country. And right now, every poll, every major poll that we have seen uh, on, on this Friday after inauguration says the country is headed in the wrong direction. Uh, the church has become somewhat ambiguous, at least in, uh, in recent days after the election, uh, in its direction, its leadership, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, were it not for you, uh, we would not we wouldn't have a very good sense of what is happening uh, in the uh, evangelical churches uh, in, in this country. Um, and we want to thank you for giving, uh, giving those uh, evangelicals voice uh, here on this broadcast. Uh, are we going to see the evangelicals do better? And I don't mean just in talk, but actually uh, leading in their communities. Yes, sir, I think you're going to. And the good news is God is on our side. And as the Bible says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Well, sometimes it can feel like just about everybody. <laughs> Pastor, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Pastor Robert Jeffress.